Did you know that the car brakes can also stabilize your vehicle when it tends to lose direction? Let's find out how stability control functions. Before you continue watching this video, just hit the subscribe button for free. When the car turns left, the right rear wheel spins faster than the left rear wheel because the right side is the outer one and the left side is the inner one. Both front wheels spin at the same speed because their traveling distances are equal. When the car turns right, the left rear wheel spins faster than the right rear wheel because the left side is the outer one and the right side is the inner one. However, a car can become unstable on a curve when some of its wheels aren't gripping on the road properly. There are two types of instability around a curve, understeer and oversteer. When a car understeers especially when speeding up on a corner, it turns insufficiently because the front wheels lose grip. The most extreme case of understeering is that the car went straight because it didn't turn at all. When a car oversteers especially when slowing down on a corner, it turns excessively because the rear wheels lose grip. The most extreme case of oversteering is that the car spun continuously because it turned sharper than the curve. The stability control prevents understeering by slowing down the inside rear wheel to forcefully turn the straight going car with lost front wheel grip and oversteering by slowing down the outside front wheel to counter steer the excessively turning car with lost rear wheel grip. For the stability control to decide which of the four wheels should be slowed down, it monitors the steering wheel's position for the front wheel's angular displacement on how leftward or rightward they are and the individual speeds of the two rear wheels to detect if the car is turning adequately or not.